Anthracnose is a common fungal disease of shade trees. It pops up each year in the spring and can look pretty bad with trees that have dead leaves, dark patches on them, and trees might even drop all their leaves. However, while this looks bad, those trees typically bounce back and there's very minimal damage to those trees, although there are some exceptions. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about what anthracnose is, how to recognize it, and what you can do about it. Anthracnose is a general name for the disease that's caused by a group of fungal pathogens. And the type of disease that it causes is typically in the leaves. So it might cause dead patches in those leaves, typically right along a vein and spreading out from there, kind of where you'd imagine water pooling. Um, it might also cause distortion of those leaves, cupping or curling, weirdly shaped leaves. Um, because of this, trees might drop their leaves. And um, in some plants, some tree species, it can also move into the branches, into those shoots and those buds. Um, in those cases, it typically causes more damage because not only is it impacting those leaves, but also that new growth, which is very important. There are some things that can look similar to anthracnose from other fungal diseases that pop up this time of year to more serious issues. And being able to tell them apart is, is really important. So if you have any questions about whether what you're seeing is anthracnose or if it's something else, be sure to reach out to your local extension agent or local arborist. Many different trees get anthracnose, from sycamores to oaks to maples to smaller trees like dogwood. It's a really wide range, and the type of disease that's caused depends on both the species of fungus and the tree species that it's on. Um, there are actually lots of different anthracnose species that cause this disease, and they tend to be pretty host specific. So it's unlikely that your disease in one tree is going to move to a different tree of a different species in your yard. Um, even though the symptoms might look the same, they're actually different species of fungi that are causing that. On some tree species, anthracnose is much more serious. Um, species like dogwood and sycamore. And a lot of times this comes because it will move into the shoots and not just stay on those leaves. Disease varies year to year, and how bad symptoms are is going to depend somewhat on the weather that we get in the spring. Fungi that cause anthracnose really like those wet, cool conditions. So if we've got a lot of those when leaves are coming out, you could expect to see more anthracnose. Those anthracnose fungi survive in buds, in shoots, in dead tissue, um, so that can spread those spores to the next generation of growth, um, overwintering that way so that then they can infect that fresh tissue the following spring. In most cases, there's no management that's needed for anthracnose. Although things might look bad, those trees recover rapidly, and the damage tends to be pretty cosmetic. Sometimes trees will even drop all their leaves and put on a new flush of leaves if they have a really severe infection. Um, and while that's a good uh, strategy for those trees, it can also stress those trees because that's a drain on their energy. So if that's happening year after year, it could be something that contributes to the overall decline of those trees. As with many different tree issues, promoting the health of your trees in general will go a long way to enabling them to defend themselves against anthracnose as well as other diseases and insect problems. Uh, this could be watering your trees if you have a severe drought, uh, making sure that they have a nice, appropriately sized mulch ring around them. Sanitation or removing any infected tissue diseased tissue can be helpful with many different fungal diseases because that's how the disease is going to infect next year's tissue. So if you want to kind of break that cycle, remove those infected shoots, in some cases there are some really good cultivars available that are resistant to anthracnose. So if you're shopping around for trees for your landscape, think about that and maybe select a cultivar or a species that's going to be more resistant to anthracnose, especially if you see a lot of damage on your other trees. You might have something about that environment that's really conducive to anthracnose and so promoting trees that don't have that issue will go a long way to set you up for success down the road. 
For some species like dogwood and sycamore that are really susceptible to anthracnose, site selection can go a long way. So picking a site that's sunny, that has good drainage, that's not going to hold a lot of moisture in there because that's how that fungus likes to spread. Similarly, it may be beneficial to prune trees to promote air circulation, especially on trees that are being really impacted by anthracnose so that you've got more circulation and less moisture held on those leaves. Other practices that might increase leaf moisture, especially during that early time window, like let's say watering with a sprinkler, should also be discouraged if you're having anthracnose issues um, to reduce that moisture and the spread of that fungus. While typically not needed, there are many fungicides that are available for anthracnose and there's many different brand names and active chemicals, so make sure you check out the labels and always follow the recommendations on those. The fungicides that are registered for anthracnose typically have to be applied as a preventative, so before you start seeing symptoms that year, and they may need to be applied multiple times over the course of that infection period. It's not something that you can do once and be done with, but more something that you're going to have to watch and repeatedly apply until you're not seeing as severe symptoms. Thanks for joining me today with this tree tidbit and learning a little bit more anthracnose. If you've got other questions, make sure to follow us online and check us out on social media at KY Forest Health.